Researchers at the University of Calgary's Ward of the 21st Century are conducting a trial of a new technology designed to help reduce the risk of pressure ulcers, also known as bed sores, in hospital patients. So the technology that we're testing is a, involves a pressure sensing mattress cover that, uh, that gives us a continuous recording of pressure, pressure spots when a patient is in hospital and if we have a patient who is, is fairly immobile and, and confined to bed, there can be areas on their, on their back, uh, around their buttocks, around their heels that can be prone to build up of pressure that can lead to skin ulcers forming. X-Sensor's Foresight PT patient turn system is a thin flexible mattress overlay that goes underneath the sheet on a patient's bed. The device monitors, records and analyzes persistent body surface pressures, a key factor in the risk of developing pressure ulcers, and provides this information on a bedside display. The technology was designed to help healthcare providers know if and when a patient needs to be turned. Pressure ulcers are one of the most common complications during uh, a patient's stay in the hospital and it also costs the healthcare system millions of dollars every year. I originally uh, was in a vehicle accident. Uh, I spent three and a, the first accident three and a half months in the hospital and uh, I didn't have any issues with pressure sores then. Uh, I was released but I did get one after I got home severe pressure sore and had to have an operation on that. I was in the hospital this time because of that for five months. It's something that uh, yeah, can definitely be avoided, with, especially with something like this, this mat that uh, they're developing. And I think, especially in a home setting, it's going to tell you um, you've got to move, you've got to uh, reposition yourself. The technology is being tested in five different hospital wards at the Foothills Medical Centre. Over 200 nurses and other hospital staff at Alberta Health Services have been trained to use the new system. So we have pilot data that was very encouraging and that justified doing a larger clinical trial where we have upward of 700 patients or about 700 patients being randomly assigned to care with the pressure system versus usual care. They are divided into an arm where um, they get the active feedback with a screen where the staff can see this, whereas the control arm uh, will have the pressure monitoring, but the staff will not have the screen for the feedback. As a research program, what we want to do is objectively test this technology. It's clearly very promising. And what we want to do is really get to the bottom of how helpful is it. The study is being conducted out of a research program at the University of Calgary called the W21C or Ward of the 21st Century. And, uh, and this is a program that's focused on innovations for healthcare quality and safety.